Hi, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. Today, we're going to be talking about how to set up generic buy and sell alerts in TradeLab. TradeLab is a free automated uh, trading platform that allows you to create your own bots without code. Uh, it's a pretty powerful system, and uh, we're going to be talking about the very basics today. So the first thing we want to do is go to community strategies on the left side and we'll find the generic buy and sell combo template. If you're using TradingView and you're using a strategy that's back testable, then I've already created another video and another template called the generic TradingView template. It's best that you use uh, this template when trading with a real TradingView strategy uh, that's back testable. If you're using just a regular indicator, in TradingView, or if you're using another uh, alert platform that's not TradingView, um, this is the template that you want to start with, the generic buy and sell combo template. Let's go ahead and hit copy and hit yes. All right. And now we can see the template in my strategies. If we hit edit, it'll open up the strategy builder. And this will ask us to set up our alerts. It says we have two steps to set up our alerts. We can hit do that now. It'll ask us to set up our exchange and select a market mode, a contractor spot, and then we'll select our symbol. Um, I'll stick with bake, or actually I'm gonna go with uh, band. Okay. And then I'm gonna hit continue. So here I have my uh, alert instructions, and these are the two alerts, a buy alert and a sell alert. So if we hit the buy alert, this will give us instructions on how to set it up. Um, here it says, create an alert in trading view and use any indicator you want. Use the message below to send a buy alert. So if we hop over to trading view, I have an example uh, set up. So what I've done is I've gone into indicators, and I typed in McDonald's and I found the McDonald's pattern by Lux Algo. It's a free uh, strategy. So if you just click this, it'll add it to the chart. This particular indicator shows hamburgers and fries. A hamburger means we go long, a fry means we go short. In order to figure out how to set up alerts, the best thing to do is to open up the data window. The data window will show you uh, all the information that you need about your strategy and what data it provides. So the data window is the fourth button from the top on the sidebar. If you click on this, we can see that uh, our McDonald's um, indicator is right here, and then we can see the plots that are listed below it. If I hover over the chart, we can see that most of the time, top and bottom are zero. But if I hover over a fry, top becomes a number. If I hover over a uh, hamburger, then bottom becomes a number. So what this tells me is that whenever bottom is not zero, I need to do a long. And whenever top is not zero, I need to do a short. And so to set up alerts for this, we'll go to the Create Alert button. We'll select our McDonald's pattern for the condition. And I'm going to do a buy. So we want to look for bottom. And whenever a hamburger shows up, bottom is greater than zero. Uh, any other time, bottom is zero. So what we want to do is we want to select greater than in this middle dropdown, and we want to put the value to zero. So anytime bottom is greater than zero, which it will be when we see a hamburger on the chart, then we want to send an alert. We want to send this once per bar close, and we want to go back to Trade Lab now and copy some information. So we can copy the webhook. If we click on this, it'll copy. Then we'll go back and we'll paste this into the webhook right there. Next, we have our name. If we copy the name, we can paste it into the alert name box here. And you can actually name this whatever you want. Uh, it won't break anything if you type in your own name. Uh, I'm just making it easy for you to copy and paste. And then we'll copy the message. So if we click on the message, we want to delete everything in this box and then we want to paste it. All right, so now we have our message for a buy. We're going to be sending for our symbol band and we have our um, alert set up. So we'll hit create. And now we'll create a second alert. 
So if we go back to Trade Lab and we hit back, we have a second alert, which is Cell Alert. If we click on this, this is the same process. So if we go back over, we'll click on Add Alert. We'll select McDonald's pattern. For the cell, we want to look at top. We want top to be greater than zero. We'll do this once per bar, and then we'll copy our webhook. The webhook usually stays the same, so you, you normally don't always have to copy it, but uh, it's it's good to get in the habit of doing that. We'll go ahead and paste the paste the name, and then we'll copy the message. Remove everything and paste in the message. Okay, so now we have a buy alert and a sell alert. If we go over to our alerts, we can see our two alerts in trading view, so it's ready to go. Now, if we go back to uh, Trade Lab, we'll press back, we'll press all done, and we are set up with our alerts. So this template is made to enter a long when it hears a buy alert, and then enter a short when it hears a sell alert. If it enters a long, it'll start running its exit rules. If a short alert comes in, a sell alert, it will exit the long, okay? So that's how this is set up. There's many ways to edit this. If you wanted to, uh, to swing trade or anything like that, that's totally possible. Um, you can watch other videos for tips on how to do that. One other thing we might need to do is set up take profit and stop losses. To do this, we can hit the Configure TPSL button, and you can see that I already have a stop line and a take line set up. It's set up at 2% from the entry price, um, so that's a one-to-one -one, uh, risk ratio. If we, <clears throat> it's set up as 2% of the entry price for stop and 2% at long, giving us a one-to-one -one risk ratio, and each time a stop or take is hit, it will, uh, <clears throat> and each time a stop or take is hit, it will close the position. And to edit these lines, we just hit the edit button. So I'll edit my take line and it'll walk me through a step-by-step -step process of how to set up and edit a line. Uh, it'll ask me where do I wanna place the line. So if I wanna change my risk to, uh, to reward ratio to a two to one, I could move my take line to 4% instead of 2%. It'll ask me what I wanna do when the line is hit. I'll say take profit. How much do I wanna take? If I do 100% of position, that will close the entire order. If I wanna do multiple take profits, I could always set this to say 50%, and then we could do 50 and 50. 50% uh, of the position is 50% of the current position. Um, if you want to completely close your position in two 50% takes, I recommend using a percentage of original amount, okay? If you hit next, it'll ask you what type of order do you wanna place. I usually do limit for take profits and market for stop losses. Uh, and then it'll ask me what do I wanna name it? I'll say take line. So now we've just edited my take line. It'll only take 50% when it's hit and it'll be set to 4% from the entry price. Okay, you can make multiple uh, take lines, multiple stop lines, uh, and edit them however you want. There's also a handy dandy quick edit feature if you wanna edit everything all in one screen instead of going through the wizard. Okay, so now let's talk about how we can test this strategy. If we press save and exit, we can see that our generic buy and sell uh, combo template is now ready, it's looking for entry, and it's, uh, it's ready to go. We could either wait to see if TradingView sends us an alert, or if we want to test it immediately, we can send our own test alert. So if we click edit, and we go to the alerts page, we can either send a buy alert or a sell alert. So we'll select buy this time, and we'll click the send button right here. This will open up the send test alert. We can see our symbol and our buy, and all we need to do is press send alert. If I want to place a real order, I would check this box and it would place a real order. If I don't want to place a real order, I leave this unchecked and it will tell me that it was going to place an order, but it won't actually place an order, okay? So we'll go ahead and hit send alert. 
All right, and here we can see that band place in order, and we can see that it ran the long enter rule. If we click on the rule, we can open up its conditions, and we can see why it passed. Band was equal to band, and by was equal to by when we sent our test alert. So it passed, and it ran these actions. It set the side to buy and so that we could place a long, and then it sent an order. Okay, so that's an example of how to trigger an order with a test alert. If we go to my strategies, and now we can see our generic template is looking for exit. It's currently in a long. It's got a margin of $50, and it's ready to go. So now it's listening for our exit alert. And if we want to test an exit alert, we can hit edit. We'll go to the alerts tab. We'll hit sell alert. And we'll say place real orders. And we'll hit send alert. Now we can see that the trade is closed. And we can see that the long exit rule ran. Its conditions were listening for a sell alert, which we just sent it. So it went ahead and placed an order to close. Okay, so now if we go back to my strategies, our generic buy and sell combo template is finished. It's looking for entry and uh, we're wrapped up with that trade. If you have any more questions, you can always join us on Discord by going to the help button at the bottom right and searching for the word Discord. You'll find a link to our Discord right here. If you don't wanna join us on Discord, but still wanna ask me a question, you can create a support ticket and it'll send me an email and I'll email you back. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, do me a favor and leave a like, subscribe for more updates and have a good day.